Every month, the med tech tests my blood by swiping alcohol on the inside of my arm and waits for the vein to bulge. I am praying to fix the vein on the first attempt. I am praying when the results return, it won't reveal I'm sick again. This is the part about cancer survival no one ever talks about. My nephew fell from riding his bike for the very first time last week. And while bandaging the wound on his knee, he asks me, am I going to die? I tell him, no, not today. At five years old, he is as relentless with questions as I am about cigarette breaks on a Monday. He asks, when I do die, where will I go? I wanted to tell him there's a war on the other side of the world trying to figure out the answer to that question. Okay. But honestly, wow. I don't know. All I know is that children can find God way before our religion can what? teach them how to do so. What? Somewhere along the way they grow to be like me, 31 years old, riddled with paper cuts from pushing paper to stack against bill collectors and medical expenses and overdraft fees. First of the month, you find me on my knees, bleeding fingers pressed against rosary beads, praying God can stop the world from sipping the life out of me through my fingertips. The world is bleeding, blood coursing through the veins, searching for an open wound to erupt from. You can taste the iron on your tongue, the smell of sweating straight bullets from our guns, and we are still firing at will. Every pull of the trigger, countered by the push of the rosary beads we whisper, for all the innocent blood we spill, and it spills. Crimson cascades from the raising covered wrist of a teenage kid who decided to change his mind. It spills on the thighs of a girl whose eyes still sparkle like the shattered mirror she was stoned against. It spills on the surface of diamonds, refracting light into those of starving children, slaughtered kings and shackled slaves. It spills against the walls of Jerusalem, splattered bodies and scattered ash, turning desert winds into graves. I am picturing God, frantically flipping through scriptures, wondering how we got the idea that this was okay. It spills out of refugees with barbed wire scrapes on their knees. It spills out of soldiers trading amputated limbs for college degrees. Ligaments torn from their bodies by our own eagles tower. Spills into barrels so for 3.50 a gallon and there I am Cursing at a gas gauge gone past empty again And suddenly my need to pay the mortgage doesn't seem to measure up In a world that bleeds from wounds larger than my paper cuts I'm just trying to get by yeah. I bandage the wound on my nephew's knee But can't seem to look him in the eye Until I figure out how to tell him The world will bleed you for everything you got So you better find a way to heal before the blood has a chance to clot His mother tells me she hopes the wound won't scar I tell her she better hope it does Come even on. if it's Small. At least then he'll have something to remind him to yeah. get up and lick his wounds every time he falls. Push past the pain. I see scars like I see plywood nailed against windows in the aftermath of hurricanes. Wounded but still standing. Destroyed but still divine. So I check off scars like I check off tallies of battles I've left behind. It's been six months since my last blood test. My doctor calls to ask me why. So I give him the answer I finally gave my nephew. Told him I stop wondering what will happen if I die. I would rather be bleeding. Waiting for wounds to turn to scars. Thanking God for keeping me alive. Yeah.